Hey everybody, got a 2004 Toyota Sienna van here, um, having a problem with a sliding door, um, the power sliding door, the right side is the only power sliding door, um, basically the door would work um, by power if you pulled the handle inside or outside. Um, but it wouldn't work if you hit the switch either on the pillar over here or the switch on the console. Um, so after, uh, this is a shuttle vehicle. There's a lot of people in and out of this thing every day. Um, the handles broke a few times. They've been pulling on it. Nobody's looked into it to see what's going on. Um, and I finally did so. It's hard to see. Um, let me grab my flashlight here. Basically what I did initially before I ordered the part. Um, you've got your door lock actuator. And I'll just jump right to it. That ended up being the culprit. I've already confirmed the fix. Um, that's this guy here. Got my finger on. Um... It actually rotates here, pulls this lever, pulls a lever here in the latch. It actually unlocks the door. So the problem that was happening was is the door, um, the door latch wasn't being pulled open so the door could slide. So what I did to confirm that was I pulled the connector off it right here. My finger is you've got uh, these two wires. Uh, looks like black, white with black did this like a week ago so bear with me um, ground wire your power wire when you push the switch so I checked make sure I had a, a confirmed ground ground was good so I checked for power when I pushed the switch I had power switch wasn't working pretty easy to figure out um, switch is no good ordered up a switch this uh, was a dormant part that I put in here um, there's a the part number it's upside down but you can figure it out wasn't terrible to put in. Um, I did unbolt the door. Uh, excuse me. I did unbolt this whole piece here. There's some tens all the way around. Um, Ten millimeter bolts all the way around. So unbolt that. You also have to unbolt. There's a little uh, sight hole here, and there's also one right there. So you gotta roll down your window after you take your door panel off. I'm not, I didn't video that obviously. I don't really feel like I need to. You guys can figure out how to pull that off. Um, once that's off, you hook your switch back up for your window. Roll your window down so you can see the bolts through the hole and you take them off. Those are tens as well. You pull the window up and uh, tape it up so it doesn't fall because there's nothing gonna be holding it in. And then, uh, when you, once you get that done, you can pull this out enough to service this. I tried not to do that, unbolting the window, and I couldn't get the screws out. So once the window is up, you pull this piece, whole black piece back. I didn't take anything else off of it, except for unbolting it. I leaned it back, and on the back side, you can see, um, there's a, see the screw, one there, and then there's one there. And they screw from the back, you know, the inside. I say backside, but the inside of the door. So you have to pull that forward. <clears throat> My screws did not come out. I couldn't get them out. They were seized in there. I ended up cutting the heads of the, the, the bolts off. Screws, bolts, whatever you want to call them. Um, I cut them off. And we had a bin of uh, machine screws here. And luckily I found two that fit. So if you order this part... Try to find some screws ahead of time. Save yourself some hassle. Because if you get that out and you can't get the screws out, it's just going to piss you off. Um, so get some screws. But what fixed my door was that lock actuator. And I've already confirmed that that does work. I've watched it. Um, 
you, there's no need to take this this handle off in here you can leave that on but you do have to take the screw out of this side um, to get that panel off the black panel like I said once once you got those unbolted you can pull this black whole black piece forward and kind of sit on the sill and work on it from the inside this way shine your light in there um, just be careful with your window that you don't smash it um, I also sprayed some penetrating oil on this whole mechanism while I had it out just to make sure it was lubed up um, I'll just show you the inside of the door panel for those of you that don't know um, let me show you this real quick before I move so there's a 10 millimeter on your door panel that holds your door panel on and it screws in down there you can get it from the outside reaching up in but don't forget that if you do you're just gonna break your door it's not a big deal your door panel it'll still go back on this one's been broke off by somebody else um, and I'm not gonna worry about it this is a company uh, fleet vehicle so it's not crucial I'll just show you the door panel so you see what it looks like on the inside. The door clips, those of you that aren't mechanically inclined and are going to try to fix this themselves. Those of us mechanics already know what the clips look like. We got trim tools to pop it off. You can use a screwdriver, blah, blah, blah. So here's what the door panel looks like. Here's the clips that you have to pop off all the way around. Here's the piece that's broke right here on the side of the door but they pop all the way off. I'm out.